Are you dealing with really, really terrible kidney stones? Are you currently in the passing state of a kidney stone? Or do you have a condition where you have kidney stones and want to resolve them? This video is created just for you. This video will focus on how to get rid of the current kidney stone and how to prevent them for the rest of your future. Stay tuned for this informative video. Uh, kidney stones, if you've had one, you know how awful, awful they are. They actually equate the pain of a kidney stone to be equal or worse than childbirth. And I can tell you it's pretty intense. So I want to share with you a way to naturally resolve your kidney stone permanently to literally disintegrate that baby, get it flushed, get that gravel out of your body. And then also the second part of this video is going to be about prevention and how to minimize the different types of kidney stones that you might be dealing with. So welcome everybody and welcome back if you are one of my subscribers. I'm Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I've created natural health resources to impart natural healing resources for you so that you can take these tips right on into your life for permanent healthy changes. And I hope you all subscribe to my channel if you are new hit the little bell so that you get notified every time one of my videos comes to you in your little inbox here on youtube so i want to dig into kidney stones i've actually had at least five patients in the last seven days contact me in a state of intense pain and just excruciating condition dealing with the passing of a kidney stone. If you're dealing with this currently, you know they're awful. And so I wanna dig into the first aspect, which is complete disintegration of the kidney stone. So regardless of the type of stone, there's actually two types of stones and it really doesn't matter as you're passing them what type of stone. All you know is you wanna get it the heck out of your body and if you can, if you could blast it away and have it not be such a big issue as it's passing. So the herb that I wanna recommend that will literally disintegrate, will literally blast away that, that stone, it's either calcification or phosphate, oxalate, whatever it is, that crystal aspect in your kidney, if you take high doses of an herb. It's known in its American version as Stonebreaker, but the type of herb, the name is Chanka Piedra. I'm gonna list the name right there. I'm gonna provide a link down below. Herb Farm is one of my favorite vendors that has this in a standardized form. Chanka Piedra will literally disintegrate. It will completely dissolve any type of stone, any size, and literally it's called gravel root. They literally will, it'll blast away those calcifications, the phosphate. It just has this amazing way to naturally heal the kidney and resolve the stone itself. So full disintegration of the stone. So that's aspect number one. Second aspect number two is to deal with the pain. Even if you actually have full disintegration and no stone that actually passes because of the chanka piedra, you still are gonna have a very high degree of pain because of the breakup, the trauma of the stone. It's hard to tell where it is in the kidney structure, even in the urethra, the bladder, that whole process and even this disintegration, there's still a degree of intense pain. And if you have dealt with these before or are dealing with it, you know, over-the-counter pain meds just don't cut it. To combat the pain, I actually recommend CBD oil. And I'm gonna recommend that you watch this video where we dig further into endocannabinoid pain management with this type of herb, but this is fantastic. Internally, I recommend usually 30 to 40 drops every two to three hours in this type of pain management case. And then also you're gonna to wanna to use a topical CBD cream to apply on the back around really the mid back over the kidneys and then also in the lower pelvic region above the bladder because there is bladder involvement as the stones and the gravel are passing or have passed. So let's dig into the second part of this video where we really focus in on natural kidney stone management and it's all about prevention. We can prevent kidney stones from forming regardless of the different type of stone. And if you are dealing with them, you know there's different types. There are calcium oxalates, there's uric acid related stones, and there's also uh, phosphate oriented calcifications or crystallizations. Regardless of what it is, you're gonna think that kidney stones, life has given you lemons. Let's turn those lemons into lemonade and literally 
keeping a very large amount of lemons in your refrigerator stocked will actually help enhance the breakup, the disintegration of those stones and really stop, especially those calcium oxalate stones from forming, which tend to be more common for individuals. I am very much focused in on managing the oxalates that you're consuming, and I don't want you to not take calcium because it is important. There are things you can do so you can continue to eat spinach, which is a very high oxalate vegetable, and still consume calcium and incorporate lemon, lemon juice, all different types of lemon, lemon teas, but lemon actually has properties in it that will help break up and minimize those calcification. Other food items that are high in oxalates are peanuts, chocolate, we also see sweet potato, brand cereal, so a lot of folks that are eating high fiber uh, will notice that rhubarb, which really isn't that common. I swear my grandmother had rhubarb barb pie recipes. We also see red meat eaters, the high protein, animal-based protein eaters. They actually will have more of an acidic situation in their body, which causes these stones or crystallizations to occur naturally in the kidneys. So sometimes being conscious of your diet. Similarly, individuals that have gout, that I want you to check out that video, how to break out and break down the acid levels in gout because that same acid that causes the gout condition in your feet and ankles also impacts the kidneys and there's a direct correlation to the kidney fluid levels and the whole gout condition. Similarly, gut healing is a huge factor. I'm gonna reference this video where you can dig into helping heal your gut further. But in this video, I really wanted to dig in and break out the most impactful herb that will be life changing. And Chanka Piedra is that herb. I'm going to list here on this video a testimonial from a recent patient of mine who had uh, messaged me while she was in the ER dealing with a kidney stone. Didn't know what was going on. I totally was like, you have a kidney stone you're passing, buckle up baby, and go get this herb. And literally, I'm so excited that she did and I was able to be a resource for her. And I know that this will be helpful for you. If you have any questions, message me down below. If you find that you try the Chanka Piedra and incorporate more lemon juice in your diet and you resolve kidney stones, please comment down below too because so many of you read each other's comments and are encouraged that way. So just don't take my word for it. I encourage you to communicate to this community how awesome these recommendations are for you. So I'm always grateful for you. I hope you'll stay tuned to videos here every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday and join me on my next video. Have a great day.